हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी हैड डिस्कस्ड विद सम ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट्स फ्रॉम मॉड्यूल वन दैट इज रिलेटेड टू कॉम्प्लेक्स एनवलप एंड कैनोनिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशंस ऑफ द कॉम्प्लेक्स एनवलप्स एंड अलोंग विद दैट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड द हिलबर्ट ट्रांसफॉर्म प्रॉपर्टीज सो देयर आर फोर इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ हिलबर हिलबर्ट ट्रांसफॉर्म आल्सो सो दैट थिंग आल्सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड सो दोस हैव नॉट वाचड दैट वीडियो प्लीज गो एंड वाच इट इट इज जस्ट अवेलेबल before this video okay in the playlist so in this video we are going to be covering with some of the important problems based on the hilbert transform properties which you need to be knowing because uh, there are high chances that like this small small sub questions they might be asking in the final exam as well so that's why i thought to be covering some of the problems okay on simple problems nothing much to do direct substitutions and uh, finding the hilbert transforms okay so yeah Uh, we are having around five questions. Let us discuss one by one. Okay, I have already written it down. I am just going to explain it to you all. So the first question is: Find the Hilbert transform of the function which is given by cos of two pi f c t. Okay, they have told us to find the Hilbert transform. So Hilbert transform, if you consider this term as y of t, then Hilbert transform can be converted as can be written as y cap of t. Okay, so in order to find the Hilbert transform, first you need to be considering the phase difference with respect to the Uh, angle uh, which is mentioned here that is theta so you should be having uh, having the phase difference of 90 degree with respect to whatever we have discussed in the canonical representation form okay so that's why you will be getting cos of 2 pi f c t minus pi by 2 okay 90 degree phase difference and cos of now what i am doing is i am just uh, 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 reversing the terms that is first term i am writing minus pi by 2 plus 2 pi f c t So here I am taking minus common, so that's why if you take minus common here also you should be writing minus, so that's why you would be getting cos of minus of pi by two minus two pi f c t. Okay, so now a uh, cos of minus theta according to trigonometric identity we know that it is cos theta itself, so you would be getting cos of pi by two minus two pi f c t, and we know that pi by two minus theta or this is the theta value here. So cos of 90 minus theta is is equal to sine theta. So that's why finally we would be getting our Hilbert transform as y cap of t is equal to sine 2 pi f c t. Okay. So if they ask for simple uh, cos and sine functions, easily in three to four steps you could be concluding the answer. Okay. So please note this down. Similarly, we are having one more problem that is to find the Hilbert transform of y of t is equal to cos 2 pi f c t plus sin 2 pi f c t okay again this is the addition of cos and sin terms again for individually if you can solve it individually and add the final answer or you could be solving all together okay so here i have solved all together that is y cap of t is equal to cos first you do the phase difference in both the functions so that's why we would be getting cos of 2 pi f c t minus pi by 2 plus sin of 2 pi f c t minus pi by 2 so again then interchange the term and take one uh, minus term outside so we will be getting cos of pi by 2 minus 2 pi f c t plus sin of minus pi by 2 minus 2 pi f c t okay so we know that cos of minus theta is cos cos theta itself and sin of minus theta is minus sin theta okay so that's why this would be cos of pi by 2 minus 2 pi f c t and this plus would be minus now so minus sin of pi by 2 minus 2 pi f c t so we know that cos 90 minus theta is sin theta And sine ninety minus theta is cos theta, so that's why we would be getting final answer y cap of t is equal to sine two pi f c t minus cos two pi f c t. Okay, so this is uh, the second problem. Now let's get to the third one. Find the Hilbert transform of the exponential function with respect to that what they have given z of t is equal to e to the power minus j two pi f t. Okay, so here for this we should be finding the Hilbert transform. For that you need to be knowing what is e to the power j theta. Okay, we know that e to the power j theta is given as cos theta minus j sine theta. Okay, so where the value of theta here is two pi f t. So we would be getting cos two pi f t minus j sine two pi f t. So this would be the required term z of t. Now for this you need to be taking the Hilbert transform. So z cap of t is equal to cos of two pi f t minus pi by two. Minus j sine of 2 pi f t minus pi by 2. Again, uh, interchange the terms and take the common term. So we would be getting uh, cos of pi by 2 minus 2 pi f t plus j sine of pi by 2 minus 2 pi f t. Okay. So why this becomes plus? Because we are having a minus sign. And if we take minus common, okay, like here with here I have skipped that step. 
But here if we take minus common and we are already outside we are having minus so minus into minus would be plus okay. So that's why we would be getting plus j sin pi by 2 minus 2 pi ft okay. So we know that cos 90 minus theta is sin theta and j into sin 90 minus theta is cos theta so that's why sin 2 pi ft plus j cos 2 pi ft okay. So now z cap of t would be equal to now what I am doing is I am adding one more j term and taking j common outside from sin and cos term. So that's why what we would be getting if we multiply the whole term by j. So we would be getting j into sin of 2 pi ft minus cos of 2 pi ft. So we know that sin theta minus cos theta or sin theta minus j cos theta can be written as e to the power j or j e to the power minus 2 pi ft. Okay. So fourth problem here they have given the signal s of t is given by s of t is equal to m of t into cos of 2 pi f c t plus the fun phase difference they have mentioned it as phi okay. So here we need to finding the three terms that is one is pre envelope complex envelope and in phase and quadrature components okay. So here they have told us to find pre first pre envelope. So according to our previous discussion pre envelope is given by s plus of t s plus of t is equal to s of t plus j into s cap of t so this is the standard expression of a pre envelope okay so here s of t is given as m of t cos of 2 pi f c t plus 5 plus j into m of t cos pi by 2 since we are taking the hilbert transform of s of t here so s cap of t so that's why cos pi by 2 into minus of 2 pi f c t plus 5 so m, m of t cos 2 pi f c t plus phi as it is you write it here plus j into m of t sin uh, we know that cos of uh, 90 minus theta is a uh, sin theta so that's why we are getting sin of 2 pi f c t plus phi here so here now m of t cos of 2 pi f c t plus phi and here also m of t is common so I have taken it outside plus j sin of 2 pi f c t plus phi so this is of the form cos theta plus j sin theta so we know that cos theta plus j sin theta is given by e to the power j theta. So that's why we would be getting s plus of t that is the pre envelope as m of t into e to the power j theta. Theta value is 2 pi f c t plus phi. Okay. So in this way you need to be finding the pre envelope. Now the complex envelope s negation of t. Okay. S naught of t. So this is given as s plus of t into e to the power minus j 2 pi f c t okay so where s plus of t we have already found it out that is the pre envelope so s negation of t is equal to m of t e to the power j 2 pi f c t plus 5 into e to the power mi uh, minus j 2 pi f c t so here substitute it uh, first you multiply the powers and uh, uh, split it into two different bases so we would be getting s, s negation of t equal to m of t e to the power j 2 pi f c t into e to the power j phi into e to the power minus j 2 pi f, f c t. So here this is j and minus j terms. So these two are inversely proportional to each other. So you will be getting cancelled out. So we are left with only e to the power j phi. So therefore s negation of t that is the complex envelope is given by m of t into e to the power j phi. Okay. So now in order to find the in phase and quadrature phase components just split this term. It is this is of the form e to the power j theta. So that can be written as cos theta plus j sin theta or cos phi plus j, j sin phi. Then multiply s of t equal to m of t cos phi plus j into m of t sin phi where this is the in phase component here and this is the quadrature phase component which is having the complex term that is j. Okay. So like this we should be finding the in phase and quadrature phase components. Okay. So please note it down. So similarly we are having one more problem of same kind okay for a pm signal s of t is given as cos 2 pi f c t plus uh, phi, phi of t or phi itself finding we should be finding pre envelope complex envelope and in phase and quadrature phase components okay so first s plus of t is given as uh, s of t plus j into s cap of t so s, s of t is cos 2 pi f c t plus phi and j cos pi by 2 minus 2 pi f c t plus phi okay so cos pi by 2 minus theta is sin theta so that we have written and cos theta here this term is as it is so this is of this completely of the form cos theta plus j sin theta 
So that is e to the power j theta form. So again we are getting s plus of t is equal to e to the power j into 2 pi f c t plus 5. So this is the pre envelope. For complex envelope s negation of t equal to s plus of t into e to the power minus j 2 pi f c t. So here again this you need to be substituting s plus of t. Uh, directly I have written it for different bases. So this would be e to the power j 2 pi f c t into e to the power j phi into e to the power minus j 2 pi f c t. So these two terms are inversely proportional to each other. So they would be cancelling out. So we are left with only e to the power j phi. Okay. So then split it again cos phi plus j sin phi so that we would be getting the in phase and quadrature phase components. Okay. So like this uh, we should be solving some simple problems which they might be asking for Hilbert transforms with respect to Hilbert transform properties. So please note these problems down. Okay, I have uh, shown displayed you five different kinds of problems. So like this is the basic problems in the first part of module one in sub questions they might be asking. Okay, so that's why I thought to do this. So please note these problems down. Okay, so yeah, that's all for this video guys. In the next video we are going to be discussing with some other concepts related to module one. So stay tuned. Thank you.